Smartboard Revolution Google Plus Community presents a Smart Survival Guide. I'm your host, Matt Granger. This is part of the Adding Interactivity to Lessons and or Simplifying Lesson Creation with Widgets series. And this is about the Weighing Scales widget. To get the widgets, you go to the Gallery tab and the My Content folder. You would have already downloaded and installed the widgets. And if you're not sure how to do that, check out my video, Finding and Installing widgets and then down here we have the weighing scales double click or drag it out onto the page you can write or drag ink here to add that much to the scale you can drag and drop weights from down here onto the scale to add them you can drag and drop weights off the scale to remove them information about how this widget works and what you could use it for here are your settings, so you can have handwritten input on either side or no side with the check marks. You can display the totals as you add or subtract weights to the left or to the right or neither. The weight set, so with the measuring, it's the U.S. It's only the ounces and tablespoons, teaspoons, cups, pints, quarts, gallons. This one is nice because you've got milligram weights gram weights, kilogram, milligrams and grams, grams and kilograms, customary, so your ounces and pounds, and then imperial, but they're exactly the same as the customary. Select your weights, your other options, and done. When you click down here, those labels go away. They always come at the beginning. So so like I said, you can drag them up. So it's displaying the total. You could use the pen and write. And even though three ounces isn't one of the choices here, it goes in. Now the problem with this one, just like many of the others, you write in the box, but then you have to delete the number. It doesn't go away. You could also write anywhere on the page and drag it and drop it in the box so 17 ounces look at that it converted it to one pound one ounce you could set up partially ahead of time now the students need to finish and make it balance it's just a, a good way to explore equivalent weights and again the nice thing is you have all the way from milligrams up to kilograms and then the customary ounces and pounds. I'm sure after seeing this you have ideas of how you might use the weighing scales widget in your math or science lessons.